In this video, we're going to show you how to make a unique Native American style arrow that was designed to skip along the water to hunt ducks. This style of arrow was used by the Klamath and Modoc tribes in southern Oregon and northern California. This very simple style of arrow didn't have any feather fletchings and consisted of a main arrow shaft made out of river cane and a removable hardwood fore shaft that had a bulb one inch from the tip to cause it to skip along the water. Traditionally, there were two different ways to make this style of arrow. One was to carve a bulb directly into the hardwood foreshaft. The other was to wrap a ball of sinew near the tip and then cover it with a layer of pine pitch. The foreshafts were made out of mountain mahogany wood, which is a very common material Native Americans used to make arrows from this region. Mountain mahogany trees grow in the desert environment amongst the sagebrush and juniper. Its wood is incredibly dense and hard, as you can see from the tight growth rings here. This wood is so dense, in fact, that it will instantly sink when thrown into water. To make this style of arrow, start by carving a pointed hardwood fore shaft with a tang that will fit snugly into the main arrow shaft. Then take some sinew fibers, which come from the tendons on the leg or back of an animal, and soak them in water, or use the traditional method of placing them in your mouth and chewing them until they become soft and pliable. Next, wrap a tight ball of sinew one inch from the tip of the arrow. To protect the sinew from moisture, Native Americans traditionally waterproofed it using a thick layer of pine pitch resin. Begin by heating some pine pitch resin and then spreading it evenly along your sinew. Now that the removable fore shaft is complete, we can begin working on the main arrow shaft. Start by cutting your river cane to length and then straighten it using the heat from hot coals. I also like to remove any sharp edges and high spots at the nodes using a piece of sandstone. The final step is to carve in your knock for the bowstring using a sharp piece of obsidian. We are now ready to shoot our arrows across the water. Luckily the river cane floats which makes recovering your arrow very easy. The idea is to bounce the arrow along the surface of the water similar to skipping a rock. On my first practice shot the angle was too steep and the arrow dove under the surface of the water. On my second attempt the angle was too narrow and it bounced off the water and into the bushes. But on my third shot, the angle was just right and I was able to hit my intended target. Next, I practiced at full draw and was amazed at just how much power this Klamath Indian water skipping arrow can deliver. I look forward to next duck hunting season when I'll attempt to harvest waterfowl using this primitive style of arrow.